So here we are in Denny, just south of Stirling on the banks of the River Carron. Now this entire site was once home to a paper mill, as it had been for 150 years. The mill closed in 2005, uh, was demolished, and the site was bought by a housing developer who, over the next few years, planned to build 300 or so houses across all of Britain. Falkirk Council, the local authority, were keen that the hydropower heritage of the site was restored. And TLS Hydro are now involved at the site and we're currently building a 500 kilowatt power station behind me down there, right alongside the river, should generate enough electricity to power 400 odd homes. We hope to finish later this year, uh, so by the autumn of 2015, we should be generating some renewable energy powered by the River Carron. In the background, you can see Bankington Weir. It was used by the old mill to divert water away from the river and into the mill. We'll be using the weir for that very purpose ourselves, albeit through a new pipeline. Now, in order for us to use the weir, we have to make one or two amendments to it in order that we can leave a certain amounts of water in the river at all times, and also so that we can allow fish and salmon to migrate up beyond the weir and into 30 kilometres of river system that until now they can't reach. So along here you can see part of the pipe that we're putting together. Now the pipe has to be able to carry 3,000 litres of water every second coming in at the top when it's at full capacity. That's a high volume for what is a relatively small hydro station. The pipe itself is 600 metres long and 1.4 metres in diameter, made out of a high density plastic which is butt welded together. So we have a large piece of kit with two big clamps, pulls two sections of pipe together, and gets a hot plate in the middle. That melts the ends, the plate's removed, and the molten ends are then moved together in the clamps and given some time to cool and set. Behind me they're building the powerhouse in which the turbine generator and control equipment will be stored. The pipeline will deliver water through the back of the building, through the turbine at two bar pressure and at a rate of 3,000 litres a second. That makes the turbine spin, which in turn rotates the generator, which can convert the energy from the water into electrical energy, which can be distributed into the local distribution network, before all the water is returned through a channel and back into the River Carron.